Hi, Murray Birch, Murray Birch Real Estate Photography, San Diego area. Just wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to blend images in Photoshop to get the best result. And uh, here's a condo that I shot in Pacific Beach last weekend. It's kind of a rainy evening. Not much to see outside, but uh, it was right there on the beach. Sometimes I use several flashes, and it looks like in this one, well, in this one I did just use the one. And then uh, just blend it together in Photoshop to get the result that I want. I like to use flash so that I can get clean, clean uh, colors, color consistency throughout the photo and right here I have ambient and it's not bad I mean it's pretty blue over here and this light over here is pretty blown blown out pretty bright so uh, this one's just a color balance frame, uh, but down here I have my flash frames. And you can see uh, the light's a lot more controlled over here. I was able to hit I for info, and that'll bring up my EXIF data. Actually, you can see it right here as well. There we go. There it is. Um, six three quarter second, four hundred ISO, and my ambient shot. Okay, no, two seconds. Six three ISO four hundred. So that's why this light is all pretty blown out. But I was trying to get some detail outside. I think, but. Really, I should have turned the lights off inside so there wasn't all this reflection in the windows. But live and learn. And here's the final photo edited in Photoshop with all the frames blended together. Okay, so let's take this one. And I like to star the ones that I'm going to use, that I'm going to bring into Photoshop. So I starred this one for the ambient, and it looks like this one is for the right side of the living room, and then this one for the left side over here. So I'm going to double click, go down. Double click, go to edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. So let's see. What we have here. Okay, so this one is for the left side. This one's for the right side. And this one is the ambient. And I'll set that to luminosity. Get a little bit of weird coloring over here just because You see my tripod here coming through and that's just using the light portion of that layer and none of the none of the color information all right so go down here and normally I just paint I would just uh, 
put a black layer mask on and just hide everything and paint it in. And I think what I'm going to do here is grab a gradient, just put a layer mask on, grab a gradient, and we're going black to white. So I want to hide this side, so I'll come this way with the gradient. Okay. So let me just grab my brush tool and soften that up a little bit here right here. Transition. A bit of an abrupt transition there. And you can see pretty even lighting. A little bit of color cast from that lamp because it had a quarter second of shutter speed. But we can deal with that. So let's see what we like about the ambient. If we need to brush any of uh, bring any of that in. Um, I might just put that, oh, yeah, I might just put this back to normal. It's not like what that's doing over here on the, on the window. And I think what I did, when I edited this for the client was, I think I went over this with the pen tool. I just went over all this with the pen tool, selected all this so that I could just fill this window just as it is. And then, of course, over here, clone out the camera, that kind of thing. But um, just for illustration purposes, I think we can just paint in the areas that we like. So I'll hide that with a black layer mask. I have an action for it. I just hit F1, puts a black layer mask on there. And then, yeah, you can see if I hit Shift and then click on the layer mask, you can see all this blue color cast on the ambient layer. Colors just look kind of flat and dull so but the window looks pretty good so we're gonna I'm gonna bring that in so I'll just make sure down here that I'm on my default colors I hit the D for default it brings up my default black and white colors for working on a layer mask black to hide and white to reveal then I can hit X to toggle between the two rather than hit clicking on this arrow thing I can just hit X and just paint in actually I don't want to I'm on selected on the layer I don't want to paint on that I want to paint on the layer mask so just paint in this window right here and I use a Wacom tablet so that I don't I get a little bit more precision with that I feel like than with a mouse so I'll just paint that in and this is just like working with a crayon or a pen or something on this Wacom tablet That looks pretty good. Shift click and see if we want to bring anything else in. That ceiling looks nice and white. So I think what I might do is bring a little bit of that in. It is pretty bright, but 
flash layer. It's a little bit dark over here, so that works out. It's going to get a little blue over here in this corner. Just hit X, X on the keyboard, and just paint that back out. Okay, so, I mean, that looks pretty good to me. I might just take a little bit of this yellow and warmth out of there with a hue saturation layer. Bring down the yellows and the reds. Usually with the uh, house lights, interior lights, it's going to be reds and yellows that you're going to take the saturation out of and that on and off. And on the table down here, you can see it's bringing that down, taming that yellow a little bit. On the table, that looks looks pretty good. So we'll just hit Command I to hide that effect, and we'll just paint it in where we want it. Get a white brush, and just paint that in. A little bit of desaturation. Take a little bit of that warmth out. Hit the backslash key, and I can see where I'm, where my mask is. Yeah. Get all this up here. This lamp was just throwing some super warm light over here. And turn that off, and you can see, you can see it kind of takes a little bit of that out. There's still a little bit of warmth there, but it looks a lot better than just this real vibrant, distracting kind of color. So you still get the, the warmth there to contrast nicely with the cool outside and the ocean and, and stuff. And actually on the ambient, I'm going to brush a little bit down here on the floor. And take that back out. Actually, I'm going to Command J, copy that. And I'm going to set it to luminosity on this one. On the floor, there were some colors that were coming in that I didn't like at all. So we'll just paint that in on luminosity, and we won't get that color cast. Make sure I'm on the layer mask. So we got the two lamps on the either end of the couch here. So we'll get a little bit of a natural shadow of the table from those lamps. And that's looking pretty good. So I'll just hit Shift, Option, Command, E. That creates a new layer and it stamps visible everything below. So if I turn that off and on, it's not going to change just because it's just uh, putting all the pixels that are on these layers all onto one layer. So the reason I do that is so that we can adjust the verticals. Although the verticals a little bit off there. I have a bubble level that I in the hot shoe of my camera but I can't 
rely on that 100%. So yeah, it looks like just need a slight adjustment. Hit Command T, hold down Command and just grab this corner over here. Actually, be this corner over here. And we'll pull this out. So that lines up with that. And that's looking good. That one's nice and straight. And that one, yep, looks good. Hit return to accept that. Command H to hide the guidelines. Command SW and I'll bring it back into Lightroom. All right, here it is. And actually I forgot to, I have a sharpening action that I run. Could just do an unsharp mask or like a high pass layer or something like that. This is just what works for me. Adds a little bit of sharpening, a little bit of vibrance. A little bit of contrast and I'll turn that off and back on off and on you can see it adds a little bit of contrast sharpens it up a little bit clarity and kind of punches up the colors a little bit so that looks good go back to Lightroom so yeah that's what I would do and here is Final photo. F for full screen. And yeah, I just did a little bit of cloning to clone out the camera over here. And that's the final photo. A little bit of beach vibes going on out here. Um, there wasn't any kind of sunset that night, it was just kind of a gloomy gloomy day we're expecting some rain so this is the final photo that I delivered I don't think it looks too bad all right yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up check out my website in the description below and I'll talk to you later it's Murray Birch